From being the smallest of the Galilean moons to being one of the most watery celestial bodies, scientists have made a new discovery about Europa and it'll definitely shock you. So guess what? Scientists just found some crazy new crystals that form when you mix salt and water in really cold temperatures and low pressure. But here's the mind-blowing part. They could be lurking in the deepest nooks and crannies of moons in our very own solar system. Who knows what kind of extraterrestrial secrets these crystals could unlock? Well, while there's no certainty about that, the mystery of the eerie red lines on Europa, Jupiter's moon, might have just been solved. These weird scratch marks have a chemical composition that doesn't match anything on our planet, but scientists now believe they could be frozen combinations of salts and water. And the crazy thing is, the two new crystal types discovered here on Earth could hold the key to unlocking this extraterrestrial puzzle once and for all. A team of scientists, led by the brilliant minds at the University of Washington, managed to create these two brand new substances by combining two of the most common molecules on our planet. And get this, they think these substances could be forming naturally in the depths of oceanic moons like Europa. If this is true, it could revolutionize our understanding of the potential for life beyond Earth. According to Baptiste Jeanneau, the acting assistant professor of Earth and Space Sciences at the University of Washington, we may have only scratched the surface of what we know about salt and water. Sure, they're well known in our earthly conditions, but what about in the bizarre, otherworldly conditions found on moons like Europa? Jeanneau points out that we have so much to learn about these compounds in these exotic environments. While we know water and salt are the main components, how did they form new crystals? Okay, so this is going to get technical. Attention, all who skipped chemistry in high school, this part might make you feel like you're trying to decipher a foreign language. So, when water and salt combine in extremely cold temperatures, they form something called a hydrate, which is essentially a rigid lattice held together by hydrogen bonds. Until now, the only known hydrate was sodium chloride, table salt, which has a simple structure consisting of one salt molecule for every two water molecules. But the discovery of two new types of hydrates has rocked the scientific community and could change the way we think about a lot of things around us. This breakthrough is just the beginning of a whole new era in astrobiology research, and the implications are mind-boggling. The two new compounds discovered by the University of Washington team are also hydrates. So what's so special about them, you ask? Well, they're unlike anything we've ever seen before. One of them has a ratio of two sodium chloride molecules for every 17 water molecules, while the other has a ratio of one sodium chloride molecule for every 13 water molecules. These compounds are vastly different from sodium chloride, and their discovery could have massive implications for astrobiology research. Who knows what other exotic compounds might be lurking in the far corners of our solar system, just waiting to be discovered. Anyway, if these newly discovered high water hydrates are found on Europa and other moons in our solar system, it could explain why their surfaces are more watery than we previously thought. According to Baptiste, this could be the structure that planetary scientists have been waiting for. And just as hard it is to understand the chemistry of these substances, their discovery was no small feat as well. Okay, so basically, the team had to compress a tiny sample of salt water under high pressure. To do so, they compressed the sample between diamonds that was no bigger than a grain of sand. This created a level of pressure that was up to 25,000 times higher than the normal atmospheric pressure of Earth. It's incredible to think about the amount of precision and ingenuity that went into this discovery. The diamonds used in the experiment were transparent. The researchers were able to observe the progress of the experiment through a microscope. After compressing the salt water, the team released the pressure and found that one of the hydrate structures remained stable. And no, that's not it. There's a little surprise for you. Turns out that sometimes the most groundbreaking discoveries happen by accident. And this was certainly the case with these new hydrates. According to Baptiste, the team was actually trying to measure how adding salt would affect the amount of ice that could be formed, since salt is known to act as an 
antifreeze. However, what they discovered was completely unexpected. As they applied pressure, they noticed crystals forming that they had never seen before. It's amazing to think that such a lucky accident could lead to such an exciting discovery. It's fascinating to think that even though the frigid, high pressure conditions that the team created in the lab aren't commonly found on Earth, they do occur naturally on the moons of Jupiter. The conditions on these moons are extreme, with enough pressure and cold to create ice sheets up to 6 miles thick over oceans that can be up to 100 miles deep. It's mind-boggling to imagine the kind of complex chemistry and exotic compounds that could exist in such extreme environments. Now that we have this discovery, what's the next step? First, we've got a whole new research topic. Jernot explained that these new substances have opened a door to finding out how pressure can drive diversity in crystal structures. The team's discovery has opened up a new realm of possibilities for understanding the chemical makeup of icy moons in our solar system. By creating a larger sample of their new hydrates, the team hopes to delve deeper into their chemical structures and see if they match any of the signatures observed on moons like Europa. With assistance from upcoming missions to explore Jupiter's moons and Saturn's largest moon, Titan, there's no doubt that we will continue to make exciting new discoveries in our quest to understand the mysteries of our solar system. Speaking of upcoming missions, a European Space Agency is looking into Europe. The European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission is also known as JUICE, and NASA's Europa Clipper mission will both be heading to the Jovian moon system, while NASA's Dragonfly mission will explore Titan. The primary objective of these missions will be to study the chemical composition of these moons to determine if they have the necessary conditions to support life. The discovery of these new hydrates is an exciting development that could potentially provide answers to some of the mysteries surrounding these icy worlds. Journeau emphasized the importance of studying the moons of Jupiter and Saturn to understand how life can emerge and thrive in extreme environments. These icy moons are the only known planetary bodies other than Earth where liquid water is stable at geological timescales, making them prime targets for the search for extraterrestrial life. By exploring their exotic oceans and interiors, scientists can gain insights into how these moons formed and evolved, and how they can retain liquid water in cold regions of the solar system, far from the sun. The discovery of these new hydrates has the potential to open up new avenues for research, not only in planetary science, but also in fields like energy storage. The ability of these hydrates to store energy has been of particular interest to researchers as they could be used to develop new, more efficient ways of storing renewable energy like solar and wind power. Additionally, the unique high pressure, low temperature conditions under which these hydrates form could also provide insights into how materials behave under extreme conditions, which could have applications in a wide range of fields. As Jernot mentioned, it's an exciting time for mineralogical science. And there you have it, everything you needed to know about the newly discovered type of salt.